In this video, I'll show you how to add and display custom text anime on your WooCommerce products. Let's get straight into it. And also how to display them in a table format like this. So customers can quickly filter and find the products that they're looking for. For example, we can filter products by a particular brand. And again, I'm just using brand as a custom taxonomy. In your case, it could be a um, supplier or whatever you create that custom taxonomy to be. You can display it in this table format here, okay? So if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store we'll be using two different plugins so we'll be using the advanced custom field plugin to create our custom taxonomy and we'll also be using the product table plugin by AOV up so I'll leave a link in the description below to both these plugins with that being said let's head over to our dashboard assuming you've downloaded and installed both plugins we're going to create our custom taxonomy now so we'll navigate over to advanced custom fields here or ACF and then we'll navigate to taxonomies. So throughout this video, we're going to be creating a brand taxonomy. OK, so let's click add a taxonomy here, enter in the plural term and then singular we'll say brand. OK, that looks good. And then here where it says post types, we want to attach this to the product post type. OK, so let's hit save changes. And now when we hover over um, products, we've got this taxonomy here, which says brands. So it's just another way of grouping our products. So we can create some default brands here, or we can create it on a product level. So let's create a few here. So let's say, say Apple and maybe Samsung. Okay. Okay. So now let's head over to our product page and let's actually assign one of these brands to a few of our products. So we'll go all products. And I'm going to go ahead and edit this particular product here. And then if we look to the right hand side of the screen, we should see our custom taxonomy here, which says brand. And then we can search for Apple, for example. OK, and let's add this. So now let's update this particular product. OK, so I'm actually going to bulk update a few of these products with a particular brand. OK. So we'll click edit, apply, and then here where it says brands, we can type in um, Apple, for example. Okay, and we'll hit update. Okay, so we've added a few of these taxonomies to our products. Now we want to actually be able to display this custom taxonomy on the front end. Um, so if we actually click on this particular product, for example, if we look, there's actually no reference to the particular custom taxonomy. So if you're a developer, you can code this into the theme or you can hire someone to do it as well. Um, alternatively, we can use the product table plugin to be able to display this. OK, so I'm going to head back over to our dashboard. OK, and I'm going to navigate to add ons. And then I just want to make sure I activate the AOV up product table plugin. So let's click manage and then we'll go ahead and create a new product table. I'll give it a name, it's just for internal purposes. OK, so we'll click on order form here. So now we'll actually start to build out the particular column for our product table. So we want to start with the product name. We can add a product image. We can add the short description. We'll add the price. OK, and we'll click on custom data. So with this option, we'll be able to add our custom taxonomy. OK, so from the data source, we'll select custom taxonomies. And in here, we'll select our brand's custom taxonomy, which we just created. OK, so let's update this. OK, that's updated. Fine. And now let's add our add to cart button. OK, so I'm happy with this. Let's rename this particular column here from say name to products. Let's update. And then let's X this off. All right, so that's fine. We'll change the image size to a hundred pixels by a hundred pixels. Okay, bulk add to cart. We'll select button and checkbox. We'll enable the Ajax add to cart behavior. We'll enable quantities as well. And we'll go ahead and show our variation on a separate row. You can show it in the drop down as well or link customers over to the product page. So it's up to you. Right, so now we'll navigate over to order form control. We'll enable our product filters and we'll just set this to be based on our columns. OK, OK, we can click on order form design and we can customize the design. I'm just going to leave everything as default for now. So let's just hit save changes. Let's head back over to our general settings. So what we can do here is we can actually embed this product table on a new page or we can actually replace our shop page with this product table. OK, and to replace our shop page with this product table, we'll just 
select the product table here and we can do the same for the product category and the tag page as well so let's just update and then we'll view our shop page and now when we view our shop page here we can see our custom taxonomy so we've got this brand section here and customers can quickly see the particular brand of the product okay we can also filter by brands currently i've only got one brand um applied it to our products but hopefully you get the idea so whatever type of custom taxonomy you add to your products you will be able to display it in this product table and your customers will be able to quickly filter and narrow down products via the taxonomy so if you didn't want to replace your store page with this product table we can actually embed it on a separate page and to do so we'll head back over to our dashboard okay so we'll just copy over this short code of this product table which we created okay and now we'll just create a new page so just add new and then page all right and so then we can just add our product table here let's publish this okay and view page all right and here we can see our product table displaying fine if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below.